Good morning, everyone, and welcome to TV for Education, training for new users. Now, we're assuming that you're a new user and you've logged in, okay? So, once you log in, you're going to have the sign out button here, and that's how we can tell that you're logged in. You cannot do anything in TV for Education unless you signed in, okay? So, let me just sign out so that you can see what the screen would look like if you're not logged in. If you're not logged in, you've got the sign in button. That's where you have to sign in. You gotta click sign in and you put in your username. You cannot use somebody else's username, okay? Because your statistics and your reporting is just going to be rubbish. So you do need to sign in with your own username and uh, then you click next and you'll be asked for a password. Okay, and if you put in the wrong password or your username is not correct, you're going to get that username or password not correct. Okay, so put in the correct password. Okay, and go login. You'll get a green login success and you're on your way. As I said, you should not be using somebody else's login because if more than one person is logged in with uh, the same username, it's going to kick both of you out. And then you'll be thinking, oh, uh, there's something wrong here. Every time I go and I get kicked out, every time I go and I get kicked out. Well, that's the reason for it. OK, so it's very important that you do that. The screen that you will be presented will be one of two screens. OK, if you've got smart search up here, that's because this particular screen is the school's collection. So we have two collections or three collections. OK, we have the school's collection and in the school's collection, this will be all the videos that are available to the school that have been selected by teachers from TV for Education, okay? So we'll come back to that in a minute. So we're gonna start off, well, where do the teachers go to find content to put up here? So when you click on TV for Education, it'll bring up the TV for Education content. So what is TV for Education? All right, so let's just unmask and get rid of all the marketing hype that uh, you know people put up. The reality, let's deal with some facts. What is TV for Education? TV for Education is the largest educational database in Australia and indeed the world, okay? Right as of the 30th of June, 2020, uh, 2021, sorry, we have in excess of 170,000 educational videos that are on our system. OK, and here this is where you go to find them. And that's a minimum. OK, we have videos, we have lessons, we have documentaries. And so in here, you've got a number of bands. You've got recently added, you've got learning tube, we've got documentaries. OK, you've got movies, we've got YouTube, we've got smart lessons, but we don't count uh, YouTube. OK, so we've got smart lessons. So when we're talking about 170,000, it's 170,000 made up of lessons on just about any topic, then documentaries on just about any topic, uh, learning tube, which are uh, requests that you can make. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. And content that is uh, actually uh, very, very specifically requested by individual teachers. And then, of course, right up the top, the most important is the learning, is recently added. Now, if you put your cursor on the far right, it'll just scroll. 
If you press that button, it'll run even faster. And if you see material and you go, oh, uh, the West Wing, or uh, I'm, I, I'm interested in uh, Go. Uh, okay, so if you see something that you think that you could use in your uh, school that you want, these are all videos requested by uh, teachers from all over Australia. Okay, so that's what you want. You just need to go ahead and click on that. Okay, and when you click on that, okay, let me just lower the volume. When you click on that, the video will come up and it'll start playing. So as a teacher, there is no need for you to add unnecessary stuff because you can preview everything. And if you decide you want it, you just click on the star. And then that'll go add it to your collection. Okay, and that's how you would add material to your collection. So let's keep going down here. And uh, we'll go uh, the pilgrims. Let's have a look at this. We go. Oh, yeah, it's a documentary chronicle the deep origins of the critical. Okay, we look at it and you go. Oh, I want to read that again. Just click on the eye for information, and it will bring it back. Okay, so you can have a look. You can look at all the different subject areas that it covers, the name of the program, where it came from. Okay, when you finish that, click on the eye. That'll get rid of it, and. You can fast forward. So this comes from channel, uh, the history channel. Okay. Now, if you want this video, not a problem. All you do is you just click the star. And this resource has now been added to your school's collection. Remember you said the school's collection, where, do, where does all this material come from? Well, this is where it comes from. Okay. You go in here and you add them to the school's collection. Okay. And the beauty part about it all is you can fast forward any way you want and you can look at that material okay let's go back on to this one and let's add this one to the school's collection let's add it to the school's collection okay now if you uh, want to search by subject you can come in here and you can just type in science Okay, and there's all your videos and you can add them to the school's collection by just clicking on them. Or you say science is too broad. So you can add a second word and then a third word. So, you know, start with one and then just keep adding other words. Or why not just go to subjects? And then why not just click on science? I mean, biology, that's what I'm after. Okay, or go into subjects, go into science. And then go physics. Have a look at that. And you can add just by clicking it and then clicking the star. And that will add it to the school's collection. Okay. And that's all there is to adding content in this uh, school's collection. You can say, oh, so I can click in here and look at other subjects. Absolutely. How about STEM? Click on STEM. Mm -hmm. How about mechanics? And there's. So we are the most, the largest uh, collection of uh, material and the most current, most relevant, and most engaging. And that's one of the big advantages uh, with TV for Education. Now I'm going to put in uh, a search. I want science, but. I'm not interested in all of this because I'm a YouTube person. What we do in the YouTube area is mind-blowing, okay? Over 80% of uh, school teachers tend to use YouTube according to the studies and the stats that we've got, okay? And so, to satisfy all the other teachers, just tell them, come in here. If you don't find what you want, well, why not just click on YouTube, okay? Go down to the bottom and then just load more and you can load more and load more okay and then what you can do is you can just click on that and it'll give you exactly the same youtube experience as if you were in youtube with some fundamental advantages okay so all you do if you want that video you click on the star and then that'll get added to your my items collection as well now the beauty of adding youtube content because when that teacher leaves Okay, 
the advantage for the school is all the YouTube videos that they used, you will have a record of them. Now, we don't download YouTube because it's illegal, and we'll make sure that our system will not uh, encourage you or take you down the path of doing illegal stuff, okay? So, if you uh, are a science teacher or an English teacher or a maths teacher or you teach anything using YouTube, why not uh, add it through here? Because then there are other things that you can do with that YouTube video legally through TV for Education. Okay? Now, I'm going to make an absurd request. Okay? This is a nonsense request. But in your case, you won't be making nonsense requests. You'll put in a particular topic. Now, I don't know what kind of topic you're going to put. But let's say you put in a topic and it's a legitimate topic. Okay? And you can just keep going along in here. And you do a search. Uh, so, uh, let's go back into TV for Education first. And you do a search. And you get no results found. What's unique about TV for Education in comparison with all other systems out there is we guarantee every teacher that we don't care what topic or what subject or what year level you need to address your material to that you can actually find it through us. Guaranteed. So all you go is, I want to make a request. Okay. And then as a uh, teacher, you can go make a request and then put in a topic request here and tell us the age level, the curriculum code, if you've got it, the subject area, the lesson aim, and what you're trying to do. And then just go submit. And we'll get back to you. Our research department is at every teacher's disposal. And what we will do is we will find absolutely incredible content, engaging content to meet the request that you put in here. And that's what's fantastic about TV for Education that nobody else does. Okay, what else do we do in TV for Education? Well, let's go to our schools collection. When you go to the schools collection, this is where all those requests I just made, they sit here and they sit here forever. You are not constrained in any way by storage space or usage space or having to wait to have things done or having to load a special player or a special piece of software. Okay, you just need a browser on any device and up will come the system. Now, what will happen is if you want that particular video as a teacher or a student, because this is the school's collection, you just click it and it will come up on the right hand side and it'll start playing. How incredible is that? Okay. And at the bottom of it, you can go ahead and you can make that big screen. Okay. You can uh, pause it. You can fast forward it. Or you can just go to another video. Okay. Or another video. So you could just go anywhere on the system. So let's go to ABC. And there's the video from ABC. And the video will load. You can pause it. You can go entire big screen okay and you can play it and everything we do is high definition okay so you'll get it in the quality that it was broadcast okay now obviously if they broadcast in standard definition then you'll get in standard definition now you have this video you selected it and you want your teachers your students to be able to watch it. Well, they can just come here and watch it. And all you need to do is click on the I for information and just say, kids, search for ABC1 Media Watch 20th of the 4th, 2020. Okay. So you can just tell them that. Now, kids being kids, they're never going to put that in. They're going to get it wrong. So what we do to make it easy for you is we have a share icon. So if you want to share this video with anyone in your school, click the share icon. Number one, you click who you're going to share it with. So you click share with and you go share it with my year nines. Okay. And because this is about uh, content that uh, you want them to be able to watch through here, you can just click on that URL, come down there and go right click and then go copy. Okay. 
Okay. And you can put it into an email, put it into a unit of work. However, you distribute digital information to your student, that's where you put it. And so, as an example, if I go ahead and I put it in here, and I'll paste it in the URL, this is the experience that they're going to get. When they click on that URL, wherever you put it, it will come up like that. And if they're already logged in, it'll play. And if they're not logged in, what it's going to do is it's going to ask them to log into the system. Okay, so here's uh, and you and they can fast forward, obviously. Okay, so that's how that they will get to watching that particular item. Okay, now let's say for argument's sake that uh, the um, IT department or the school principal or the business managers or whatever are doing some work at the school and they've put you in a demountable or a portable room at the end of the football paddock and you've got no internet there, but you've got a class to teach. And of course, teaching cannot stop under any circumstances. And in Kiwi for Education, we facilitate the fact that teaching should not stop under any circumstances, but you want to uh, display this particular video for your students in that demountable when there's no internet, or you want to download that and edit that, or you want to just show a particular part of that video and you want to set it up for them. Really easy. You just click on the I for information, and this applies for everything on our system except YouTube, because it's illegal to download YouTube under any circumstances. So when you bring up any video here except YouTube, you just scroll, have a look at the in, uh, information. You will always get a URL, always. Even YouTube will have a URL, but you will not be able to have the download button. But for everything else, download. So you just click on that download button, and guess what? It'll say, where do you want to save this video? And just choose where you want to save it. So oh, I'll go into here, and I want to go into HP Setup, and that's where I want to save it. And guess what? That video is now going to get downloaded for you on your local device. So you might have been on a phone, on an iPad, Android pad, Mac PC. We don't care. If your device has the ability to save a file from the Internet, it'll download it for you, and you will get a copy of it. And it's pretty fast, okay? There's four seconds left for that particular ABC program. And so that's how you can download stuff. All right? All right. So now, uh, when I go to TV for Education, I know that I have access to over 170,000 items. I know I can search. I know I can go to subject search. And I know I can also go to YouTube and get stuff from YouTube. I can also go to lessons and bring up, you know, all the lessons on the system and have a look at that. And I know that this is just the largest collection on the system. However, what I want to know is that how can I take a video from here and then share it? Well, you just need to add it to your collection. And when it's added to the collection, you can do everything from the school's collection. You, all you can do in TV for Education is put it in here. Okay, so we were talking about requesting material because if you put material, if you put a request in here and then you did a search and it said no items found, I can request material on any topic. Okay, so I can tell them I need to teach uh, Pythagoras' theorem and it's for my year uh, sevens, so you can put that in there, okay? But what else can I request? Well, let me just show you something. Every teacher in your school should have this page bookmarked, www.foxtel.com.au. Nobody else in our competitors do this. Some of them, one of them says they do, and we just say, take the acid test. Go to the Foxtel channel, click on the TV guide and go down here and then go and choose some obscure channel just as a test because we say you can get anything you want from us, okay? And then just choose a program from here. I, I really want that program. Get all the information about that program. And then in the make a request area, premium channels, that's where you go. And in here, you can request 
anything you want. And bear in mind, TV for Education is the largest educational database. So we uh, would like to think that you're going to do the right thing and you're going to request something from a Foxtel channel that you want to use in teaching. Okay? And so you'll just choose the program. Okay? Give us a program title. Choose a channel. Put the program title in. When the date is, when it's coming up. And we'll make sure we'll record it and something I neglected to say that everything on TV for education, absolutely everything except YouTube, of course, is free of ads, not one ad. So you can request absolutely anything. Nobody else actually will do it. As I said, one of our competitors say they do it. Do the asset test and try it. And you'll find they'll go, hmm, that's not educationally relevant. Oh, uh, no, we can't have you that. With, with TV for Education, there's no such thing as a no. Okay, We don't believe in no. We know what we believe in, that we will give you whatever you want. Another thing that we do is also, okay, go to, go to the TV guide, any TV guide, okay? And we will give you absolutely anything on the national TV guide, absolutely anything up in the future, or even up to 60 days after it was broadcast. We store everything for 60 days so that you can retrospectively ask it when it comes to TV. Okay. Now, when you go into TV for education, you just go, I want to make a request. Free to air requests. And anyone that requests anything, doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a topic, whether it's a premium channel, whether it's a TV... When they request it, that person will get that individual copy. But more importantly, it will then go on to the TV for Education database where it stays forever. It never gets deleted. So any new person coming along or any teacher coming along or any teacher changing their mind about getting a particular content has full and free access to everything that everybody else has requested. It's in the system. Okay, so that's very, very important. The last thing we want to do is, all right, um, I want to be able to take a video and I want to just cut the section of that video that I want and I want to answer, put question and answers or a quiz or something on it. Very, very easy to do. Okay, so all you do is you go into... The menu, you go down to Smart Classrooms, and you can create a lesson. And the lesson will go into my school's collection, okay? And unlike our competitors, we do not take all your hard work and say, upload it to our system, and then we'll share it with everybody else, and we'll make money off you, and then won't pay you any royalties for it. We don't work like that. You know, what makes your school unique is the hard work your, your teachers do. Okay, and we don't believe in taking your teacher's hard work and then palming it off and selling it off and promoting our system. Okay, it stays in your school's collection. It does not, under any circumstances, get to TV for education. It stays here, and you can delete it. Okay, if you don't want anyone to share it. So this is how we go ahead about and create a lesson. So smart classrooms create a lesson. Okay, when we go to create a lesson, all we need to do is give the lesson a name. Um, and maths, division, year six. Okay, give it any name you like. You can put in a description about it if you want. And then you just go save. And there are two things you can do with every lesson. You can add resources or you can add questions and answers. Okay, so... I'm going to add resource. What resource? Can, you can add anything from TV for Education. You can add a curated YouTube or YouTube or upload your own file if you want. You can add URLs. You can add text. But we're just going to go and do YouTube because nobody does this. Okay? And so let's go. Maths. Division. Okay? So that And now when I hit the search, that's going to do a YouTube search of whatever term you put in there. There it is. And now say, okay, 
that's the one I want. So you can add that video. You can add more videos to the system if you wanted to. Okay, so let's go ahead and add another resource and let's add this one. Okay, and that's how it would be. If that was it, then when the student gets the lesson, they don't get all these buttons, they just get the video. Okay, if you want to add a question, just go in here and um, Okay, so the answer is 22, the answer is 3, the answer is uh, 50, and the answer is 75. Okay, and you say, you choose the correct answer, and then you just go save that question. Now, when you save the question, there's the question. So you got video, video, question. You got, no, I want that question up. So you can move the, so now what you have is you got question, uh, video, question. But the problem is when I play that video, okay, it plays the entire video and I only want a couple of minutes of it. So as a teacher, you can click on the scissors, okay, and then you go, let's play the video. And then you move it to where you want it and you go start of the clip, end of the clip, and that is my chapter one. And you go create the chapter. And if you want another clip, you go start of the clip. End of the clip, and that's chapter two, and you go create that, and now you just go close, okay? And that's it. It's as simple as that. But what will happen is when the students get it, they'll get the video. It'll look exactly like this, but when they press play, the video will load, and it'll fast forward. Play that section, then fast forward, play that section, okay? And that's all it'll do. So you keep them focused, and that applies for anything. I've used YouTube because nobody does it on YouTube. And I just want to illustrate the point that it's pretty fancy. If you want to share that, just click on share, okay, and click on the link. When you click on that link, it says the link has been copied to your clipboard. Now what you can do with that link is when you post it into wherever you put your digital information, this is the experience that they are going to get if they were not logged in as a uh, a student as a teacher you have you can still further edit it but that's how they'll get if they log in as a student they won't get those buttons up there and they can just go ahead and do that we have a whole bunch of reports in the system okay so we can do reports of um, who did the lesson how uh, effective was the lesson or who got it right who got it wrong so there's a whole bunch of reports you can get out of the system on the system okay all right so now that you've done the lesson, okay, let's close out of here and let's go back into my um, search screen. Okay, don't forget, we don't take your work and put it into TV for education. It stays only in your domain. Not only does it stay only in your domain, we can even set it up so other teachers don't have access to your lessons. Okay, it goes into your my items, but we can set it up so that it goes in here so other teachers can also look at your lessons and use them. But if I go to my items, every individual teacher has unlimited space and every student also has unlimited space in the cloud. So when you go in here, what it will do is it will bring up your area of all the videos and all the lessons that you have used and continue to use. Okay, so if a student went in, they'll see his space. If a teacher goes in, they'll see their space. And there's your lesson. Okay, now what will happen is when you bring up your lesson, it's up in here. Okay, and you can continue to change it, alter it, add it, but nobody else has access to that particular item. Okay, so that's your My Items page. So, in short, the school's collection is the collection where all the teachers get their content and put it here and make it available for, uh, for students. There's a lot more information. So, if this was sexually explicit and violent and it was Macbeth and it was for Year 12 English, you can restrict that. 
Okay, that's a more advanced lesson. Okay, adding people to the uh, system is a little bit more advanced. You come down here and you go to patron reports. So talk to us and we can do an advanced teacher training for you as well on TV for Education. Hope you've enjoyed this session. Thank you very much for the opportunity to present TV for Education for new users. When it comes to reports, we do amazing stuff with reports. Okay. However, unlike our competitors, where when you take a video and they chapterize it and they then say, oh, this video was watched 60 times because it happened to have 60 uh, uh, chapters in it. We don't do that. Okay. We stand on, on our integrity and we give you the facts as they are. So if 12 people watch that one video, we don't turn around and tell you that 60 times 12 and that's how many people are watching that video. We'll say 12 people watch that video. Okay, so that's very, very important when you're looking at our user statistics. It is the real thing. Okay, it might not be high numbers, okay, to misrepresent, but it's actually telling you what's happening. So don't get inflated uh, ideas that, oh, I like this system because it's telling me a thousand people are using it when in actual fact maybe only 20 and it's just uh, you're counting chapters and you're counting streams and you're counting bits and pieces okay so all our reporting is actual factual information on uh, how many people are actually engaged but not only that we can tell you who engaged, we can tell you when they logged on to the system and how many times they actually watched that one particular video. So when you're using the share link to check on uh, engagement and activity, we'll tell you here are all the people that actually were engaged. Anyone that's not on that list didn't. And if they engaged, they engaged the whole video. Thank you very much. Hope you have an amazing time with TV for Education. You know, you can always ask for help by just clicking on the menu, going to the mailbox, and in the mailbox, you can say, I want to create a ticket, and I would like some one-on-one -on -one training. And I want one-on-one -on -one training. Put the message in here that says on lesson creation. And you can go submit, and we'll contact you, and we'll do exactly what you asked for. So support is amazing, very, very responsive. And we think you'll get blown away with that. Thank you for this opportunity.